I already got a lot of shoes this month, but I wanted to give you guys a video and show you guys some of the other unboxings that I ended up getting recently. Got a package from Adidas, got some Adidas discounted sneakers that were super cheap. Uh, got a pair of Nike Airs that I'm super excited to see. Something from Kith. And then also some other random t-shirts that I ended up buying from Instagram of all places. But let's go ahead and show you guys some of the pickups. What is going on guys? Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. First things first, where do we start? Where do we start? I guess let's start with this t-shirt here. Because this one I haven't opened yet. So this came from Instagram. I follow a dude on there that I own a pair of sneakers from that he collaborated with Nike. So um, if that's any indication of who this is, it's not because there's a thousand people that collaborate with Nike. But I guess the brand is called Official Limited. But we have a Subwear uh, t-shirt. As you can see, it is an arrow. I'll show you that in just a second. And then we also have a subway train car uh, which is the other one so if you didn't know stash is the artist stash actually ended up creating the air force ones that i got for the wife at complex con last year uh, super dope how nike ended up doing a stash release and i lucked out and was able to actually get a pair of those so that was really rad um, and i still have those ones they're actually just sitting right over there but yeah so i ended up seeing that he was selling some t-shirts and i've always been a fan of this dude like he's made some incredible graffiti uh, back in the day so i was like dude this is super rad that he has this like train car it's like a blank train car on the front of the shirt on the bottom it says property of s wear on the back of the shirt but this was too dope to me and my kid is absolutely obsessed with trains amongst other things so i was like for sure gotta get this t-shirt it was like 30 bucks or something i think i paid 80 bucks shipped for both of these and here's the other t-shirt, just a stash arrow on it, as you could see. And super simple, but I was like, dude, this is dope. And I really like what the guy is doing. And so I wanted to support it. And so Stash, this is for you, dude. It's really cool to have actually met him in person and uh, be able to actually support what he's doing. And but that's the first thing I ended up getting. The second thing I ended up getting is from Kith. So I ended up getting a couple Kith, Kith t-shirts that took forever to get shipped. But uh, it has a Kith logo on the front. And then it says a new past on the shirt for those wondering. Interesting, this is the first time I've seen this actually happen. Kith is actually sealing their packages now, which is new. And this is part of the Monday Drops. $65 though, a t-shirt. I think I paid $10 for shipping for one. So I'm like, I might as well get two and only pay $10 once. But $65 is a lot for a t-shirt now that I think about it, considering these ones were only like $30 for these ones. But Kith usually has some pretty good quality so for me i thought it would be worth it so that's the first four things let's show you guys the shoes so adidas ended up sending a couple pairs one for myself and one for the wife and so i wanted to go ahead and show you guys what they sent this is the one for the wife you could see that this is a pretty crazy color a bright peach sort of uh, vibe and then it has a gray midsole and then continental rubber on the bottom if you didn't know about this model it is the alpha bounce instinct as you could see right here so alpha bounce instinct women's and size seven for the wife. As soon as we got these home though, basically she threw these on feet and then I threw this pair on feet as well. This is the men's pair that they ended up sending me. So again, another pair of Alpha Bounce Instinct. And this color is really dope actually. It's kind of like a heathered gray sort of vibe and then has little bits of brown and an off-white midsole, sort of a sand color. And then a really bright hit of orange underneath here and then also in these little pods on the inside so it's fun to be able to just try these on right away and then i'll give you guys kind of some impressions of what these are if you guys actually want to see a detailed review of these um leave a comment in the comment section and i will consider doing that in the future but this is one of those shoes that is kind of slept on i don't think the alpha bounce series in general is one that a lot of people like have loved in the past i think the first initiation a lot of people were all about it but then it just sort of the hype died but for me i've had the first one in a couple different colorways as well as the alpha bounce beyond and then this is the alpha bounce instinct so this is actually one of the shoes that i wanted to get i just never actually tried them yet so shout out to adidas for sending these over my way but uh, this is the pack that they ended up sending here so we have two different alpha bounces as you can see and moving on i'll show you guys the next double box here from adidas so this double box was actually two pairs of adidas that i bought 
from the Adidas sale. As I mentioned, the prices were so incredibly insane that I got both of these for I think 136 shipped. And one of these pairs is a pair of Ultra Boost Limited that usually retail at $200. This is a Parlay Ultra Boost and these are them. So this is the Clima version of the Parlay Ultra Boost in the white and sort of two-tone blue color. Uh, it's got kind of a grayish blue here and then a lighter mint blue along there and then also in the back section of the shoe. But price point was super low on these. But I saw this and then I was like, you know what? I got to do a custom on these shoes. So I plan on doing a custom on these and trying to dye the upper. I don't know quite what I'm gonna do yet, um, but I have some ideas in my head of what I would like to achieve uh, on this pair of shoes. So expect to see a custom video, hopefully coming soon of this pair of shoes. But this pair also is another one that I bought with the intent to customize. So this is the original Alpha Bounce. This is a Parlay colorway and I wanna actually customize this one as well. So, so just for a side by side so you guys could see the Alpha Bounce versus the Parlay uh, version. This is the Alpha Bounce Instinct versus the Parlay uh, regular pair here. So the Instinct is definitely way more aggressive than the original one. Uh, but this is one that I was like, dude, for $38, like I couldn't go wrong with this. It was an instant cop for me. And then I will hopefully be able to like dip dye these and make them custom uh, and do something fun in this pair. I have something in mind, hopefully it comes out, but, uh, but definitely something that I will hopefully have for you guys soon. Between both of these pairs, I plan on customizing both of these a little bit differently. For $137, I think it was, or something close to that for both pairs, I was like, dude, this is pretty awesome to be able to have sales like that go up on Adidas. I don't know why, but I just love finding good deals on sneakers. Um, that being said, let's show you guys the last box here. Probably the most hyped up or was hyped up and now not, I don't know what to say about it. But this is a shoe that I definitely wanted. So you could see it is a Nike box here, but it's a little bit different because this is one that is from a collaboration uh, from a dude named Skepta. So this is Never Sleep on Tour, it says. And then on this side, it says June 8th, 2014, 12 p.m. I honestly don't know much about the artist Skepta, but I do love the sneaker collaborations that they have created. And this is one that I just think is super fire. The first collaboration that Skepta had with Nike was one of my favorites because it was themed after an OG pair of Nikes that I remember back in the day that I really, really wanted. And so I actually have that same shoe, but in a different colorway. But, um, but the theme of it was after the original ones. This one is a just different design, but it's on one of the OG models that I loved, which is an Air Max Deluxe. And for those that have not seen, I have like three or four pairs of the Air Max Deluxe thus far, especially the OG colorway uh, with the blue and orange. That was my favorite. So I have two colorways of those, but the fact that they have a collaboration with the model is just dope to me. So as soon as I saw this was black, a little bit of red on the shoe and um, kind of a cool little pattern and print over the upper super clean super simple but definitely one where i was like yeah i gotta check these things out and i gotta say that i like them man i think that they look really good i will say that the fitting of the air max deluxe is a little bit tricky i had a nine and a half for my three pairs four pairs that i have and they don't fit very well i need a size 10. since i got the nine and a half though i went ahead and removed the insole and they fit me just fine that's a pretty nice detail too it has the sk air on the bottom of the shoe for skepta yeah man this is a cool collaboration in my opinion and one that was hyped up originally then they released then the hype kind of died down a little bit which is totally fine uh, but in the end i was just happy to be able to get a pair and i ended up getting mine from kith they ended up just randomly stocking on kith and i paid for them plus shipping unfortunately so it was another ten dollars so it was 190 plus 10 200 shipped i feel like if the price point on these were like 150 they would sell a lot better but two 190 is just a lot of money um and it's not like they didn't sell out everywhere it's just that there's no like aftermarket for them or like a lot of people just bought them to sell them uh, they didn't really buy them because they liked the product but I'm definitely a fan of the product. One of my favorite Nike Airs probably of all time. Uh, but that is just me and kind of what I like. Anyways, that is the video. A bunch of t-shirts, some Adidas products, and some Nikes. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified of when my videos go live. Thank you again for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.